to my channel Avanti Morocha. Today I'm going to show you how to use Cricut Joy and Adhesive Vinyl to personalize a Mac and a Tumblr. You could also use Cricut Maker or Cricut Explorer to do this project. When using Cricut Joy and the Smart Material from Cricut Joy line, you don't need to use a mat when cutting this material. Keep in mind this is exclusive capability of Cricut Joy. Now let's begin. For this project, I'm going to use a ceramic mug and a plastic tumbler. Since I'm using Cricut Joy, I'm going to use the Smart Material for Cricut Joy. In this case, the Smart Vinyl Permanent and Transfer Tape. When you're using the Smart Material, you don't need to use a mat. If you are using another permanent vinyl you may already have, you will need to use a mat. I put together these designs using Cricut Access Images. I'm going to share the link to the project on my blog avantimorocha.com. To be able to use them, you need to be subscribed to Cricut Access. For this project, I'm going to use the mobile app of Design Space on my tablet, but you could also use the desktop app. The dimensions of these designs are custom made for the blanks I'm using, but you can modify them to fit your needs. If you only want to make one of these projects, hide the other in the layer panel. I'm going to cut both together, select all, click on actions and then on attach. Click on make it. I'm going to choose the option without mat since I'm using a smart vinyl. Remember this is Cricut Joy exclusive so choose your settings according to the material you are using. When you are not using the mat, read information above. For example, for this project, the length of the material needs to be 7 inches. When you are not using a mat, Cricut Joy needs about 1 inch of space for the rollers to grip and load the material. So keep this in mind. Now I'm going to choose the option on mat to show you the difference. Here you won't need the extra inch of material because you are using a mat. Now I'm going to go back to without mat. Click on continue, select the material, I'm using a smart vinyl permanent, load the fine point blade and the material. Just so there is no confusion, I will repeat it, the only materials that you can use without a mat in Cricut Joy are the smart materials. Load the material and start the job. Click on go. I fast forwarded this part of the video, the process of cutting these pieces took 1 minute and 50 seconds. Cricut Joy can cut an individual continuous shape up to 4.5 inches wide and 4 feet long and repeat cuts like star hearts and confetti up to 20 feet long. For example, you can send to cut the pieces to personalize 7 mags and tumblers using the roll and repeat the cut. If you are making a small design, I recommend using the mat. Now I'm going to cut and divide the designs. Start weeding. Do the same with the other piece, here I'm going to remove the text. Now that I'm done with the weeding, I'm going to transfer the designs. I cut a piece of transfer tape.
Place it over the design, ensure there are no wrinkles or bubbles. Scrape the front and back to ensure the vinyl gets transferred. Remove the backing. If you see vinyl that hasn't fully transferred, you can scrape it again or use the wither tool to detach some areas. Place the design on the back. Use the scraper to ensure the vinyl gets attached to the surface. Remove the transfer tape. If you want, you can reuse the piece of transfer tape on another project. As you can see, the Mac looks fantastic. I get asked all the time how to take care of this kind of Mac. I recommend washing it by hand and avoiding putting it in the microwave. Do not place it in the microwave if you are using a metallic vinyl. As a rule, if the material is reflective, don't put it in the microwave. Another question I get is, how long will this last? It could last between 4 months to a year plus, however the product longevity will vary and is heavily influenced by the care and materials used. If you are using a thin stroke design, the thin lines will be the first ones to peel. If you want your design to last longer, I recommend using designs with thicker strokes. Now I'm going to repeat the same steps I did in the previous project. Remove the transfer tape. The tumbler looks excellent. You can use the same method for metal tumblers. Here are both designs. They look fantastic. I hope you like this video and you find it informative. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you make this project, don't forget to share a picture on my Facebook page or tag me on Instagram. I love to see it. I offer online consulting for people that want to learn more about Cricut or start a business using one. For more information, visit my blog avantimorochat.com. If you are interested in a Cricut Joy, I'm going to share the link where you can buy it in the info box below the video. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon. Ciao, ciao.